For many years, this has been the situation in many parts of Kenya. The truth is, all this is preventable. Yet the pain of maternal and infant mortality has remained a major challenge for many years, making childbirth, a natural process ideally meant to be of joy and happiness, a cause of death and desperation. Every year, tens of thousands of children die before they celebrate their fifth birthday, while more than 60% of those born with or contract HIV AIDS lack access to life-saving antiretroviral drugs. And that's not all. At least 21 women die every day due to pregnancy-related complications in Kenya, five of them due to AIDS-related ailments. Temu kama ambayo mimi natoka wa Marti, tumeweza kupoteza wa mama wengi sana kwa muda mrefu liopita kwa sababu ya barabara mbofu na tena shida za mawasiliano. Well, we need to get the, the deaths down to zero. And this cause, despite the mothers and the children, we want to go beyond that. This heart-wrenching picture is disturbing to the human soul, not least First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, who wishes to be mother to a nation of zero pain and no tears on account of maternal and child health outcomes in the country. So she made a bold decision. One to liberate all women from this bondage of painful and difficult childbirth. To kickstart the long and difficult road to emancipate women from this painful bondage, Kenya's first lady chose sports to rally all and sundry to join in this noble cause. Her determination is to deliver mobile clinics to improve access to healthcare in all the 47 counties of Kenya. Weeks of rigorous training in Nairobi, the serene environments of Sagana State Lodge at the slopes of Mount Kenya, to the high altitude training fields of Iten in the Rift Valley. The First Lady broke her sweat running for charity in Nairobi. all the way to London. And the outcome of all this? Funds raised through this initiative have enabled the purchase of 20 mobile clinics. And already, seven counties with the highest maternal and child mortality rates in the country have received the mobile clinics handed over to the county governments of Isiolo, Taite Taveta, Narok, Samburu, Homa Bay, Baringo, and Wajir. This is a life-changing experience for the communities that hitherto struggled to access maternal health care. Looking at the facilities that are available inside there, looking at the equipment, we can give uh, services that mothers, maybe even going to that dispensary, could not get the services. So it's a good, it's a good project. The mobile clinics traverse the counties, taking services to mothers and children wherever they are. <laughs> Na wanyama wako, lakini sayi tunashukuru kwa bila wameleta hapa karibu. Mungu wa mbariki sana hui mama. Ajitolea na kuwa na moyo kuwa uo, makutumikia wananchi. But for the first lady, the journey continues until all 47 counties have the 10 million shilling mobile clinics, something that governors have shown great support for 
as evidenced by their commitment to the communique they signed after the consultative forum with the First Lady. And uh, the clinic is about 10 million, so we need, we need a lot more. We need a lot more. It's not like we need one uh, clinic per, one mobile clinic per county. We would need more per county and different counties would probably require more. The Beyond Zero campaign transcends the limits of better access to maternal health care by focusing on the plight of the girl child and saving her from the vagaries of harmful cultural practices that include female genital mutilation, forced early marriage, among others. The First Lady's initiative is beyond ordinary. She became the only First Lady to complete two marathons for an initiative that is the first of its kind on the continent of Africa. And whereas our efforts are a direct complement to the Jubilee government's pledge on healthcare, it goes further to show her commitment to the realization of the Millennium Development Goals number 4 and 5.